Hello, everyone, and welcome to our latest installment of Get Yeti to Read, a YouTube video series for the Algonquin Public Library that highlights um, some of our new teen and young adult books that uh, have come out or are coming out soon that will be added to the collection that you may have missed, especially since the library is currently closed to the public. And we know how much browsing is important to everyone in finding good books to read. So hopefully the Get Yeti to Read series will provide you with a way to browse from the comfort of your own home. So this installment is a little different because we're going to be highlighting the 2020 Yalza Teens Top 10 winners. Um, Yalza is the Young Adult Library Services Association. And every year they release a list of 25 top teen books published that year to nationwide teens to vote on. And the final top 10 are the winners as determined by teens throughout the United States. So we're gonna just highlight those top 10 winners because they're kind of like the best of the best according to actual teens themselves. So hopefully you will find some of these books to be pretty interesting and maybe want to put some on hold to read. So the first teen's top 10 winner was Rainbow Rowell's Wayward Son, which is actually the second book in the Simon Snow series. Simon Snow did everything he was supposed to do. He beat the villain, he won the war, he even fell in love. Now comes the good part, right? Now comes the happily ever after. So why can't Simon get off the couch? What he needs, according to his best friend, is a change of scenery. He just needs to see himself in a new light. So that's how Simon, Penny, and Baz end up in a vintage convertible tearing across to the American West. Also by Rainbow Rowell, Pumpkinheads, which is actually a graphic novel. Josiah and Deja have been working at the Succotash Hut together for the past three years, and this is their last night working together before they go off to college. Deja is on a mission to help Josiah talk to his dream girl and eat snacks along the way. This dreamy graphic novel tells the cute story of these two teens' last night together at the pumpkin patch. With the fire on high, Emily Santiago is a senior in high school and has a fiery passion for cooking and her family. With a young daughter and a grandma to take care of, Emily is struggling to choose whether to follow her dreams of becoming a chef or stay at home with her family. Aurora Rising, and this is the first book in a series. When Tyler Jones saves Aurora Jinlee O'Malley, he didn't expect to be pulled into an intergalactic adventure that threatens the living universe and puts his very values to the test. Instead, he's more worried about the ragtag squad of Aurora Academy that he's been assigned after missing the draft. But together they embark on a mission to understand Aurora's paranormal behavior and in the process become more than just friends. Broken Throne, a Red Queen collection of short stories. May Barrow's world is divided by blood. Those with common, red blood, serve the silver-blooded elite who are gifted with superhuman abilities. Mare is a red, scraping by as a thief in a poor rural village until a twist of fate throws her in front of the silver court. Before the king, princes, and all the nobles, she discovers that she has an ability of her own. Murder Funding, which is the second book in the Murder Trending series, which currently has three books out and a fourth one coming, but while enjoyed simultaneously together in one big binge reading, they can be enjoyed as standalone stories if you want. After Becca's mom's death, a mysterious girl shows up at Becca's school. With theories floating around the internet about the true identity of some pretty famous serial killers, Becca goes on a mission to figure out her mom's past as possibly one of those serial killers. We Hunt the Flame, which is the first book in the Sands of Ariwaya series. Zafira is the hunter, the savior for her people, but they will never know it because their prejudice against women forces Zafira to hide her identity. Nasir, an assassin and the prince, is forced to leave behind his compassion by his father. As the arts, the darkness, grows closer, the two embark on a quest for an artifact to save Ariwaya. But while Zafira is set on stopping the Ars, Nasir is set on a mission given to him by his father, 
to kill the hunter and to take the artifact to the palace. The Lovely War. It's 1917 and World War I is at its zenith when Hazel and James first catch sight of each other at a London party. She's a shy and talented pianist, while he's a newly minted soldier with dreams of becoming an architect. When they fall in love, it's immediate and deep and cut short when James is shipped off to the killing fields. The Wilder Girls. The Raxter School has been under quarantine for 18 months. Nobody knows what's caused the mysterious outbreak of the tox. Everyone at school started getting infected and makes them feel like which makes them feel like strangers in their own body. Hetty has been dealing with her own demons since this began, and waiting for a cure seems pointless. Once her friend Byatt goes missing, she becomes restless and is determined to find answers. And the last teen's top 10 winner was the Memory Thief. Etta Lark wants to live outside of the corrupt culture of her realm, but grapples with the guilt of an accident that has left her mother bedridden in the city's asylum. When the ruler of the city, Madame, threatens to put her mother up for auction, a certain practice in which a criminal's memories are sold to the highest bidder before being killed, Etta will do whatever it takes to save her. So Etta rejoins the Shadows, the rebel group she swore off in the wake of the accident years earlier, and sets out to steal a memorized map of the maze, a formidable prison created by the bloodthirsty ruler of a neighboring realm. If any of these teens top 10 winners sound interesting to you and you would like to place them on hold, feel free to email me at teen at aapld.org with your library card number and the title, and I'll put it on hold for you for pickup at the drive-thru or the branch. I also want to let you know if you are a teen who needs volunteer hours and loves reading, feel free to email me to learn how you can earn more hours by reviewing books. One of the opportunities we actually have is at the beginning of this video, I mentioned how the Yalza Teens Top 10 gets um, broken down into the top 25 books that go out nationwide for voting by all teens. To get to those 25 books, there are actually groups of teens at libraries who receive advanced reader copies of books that are being published each year and they review those books. And that is how those top 25 choices are figured out. And the teens in the volunteer program and the teen advisory board at Algonquin have actually been serving as one of the teens top 10 groups nationwide for the past two years. Due to COVID, we've actually been um, allowed to renew our term of service for one additional year. So if you want to get in on helping determine these teens top 10 books, definitely email me to learn more about how you can earn volunteer hours with this opportunity. So other than that, I hope that you enjoyed learning about the teens top 10 books for 2020. And we'll see you at our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.